Welcome everyone. Let me tell you, if you're watching this, you are loved and you are blessed. Everyone who's in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, all things are new. I would like to encourage you to pray with me this prayer. God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, I receive the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you. Enlighten my eyes that I would be enlightened and I would know what is the hope of your calling and what the riches of the glory of your inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of your power to us who believe according to the working of your mighty power which you wrought in Christ when you raised him from the dead and set him at your own right hand in heavenly places far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but also in the world that which is to come and you have put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church which is his body the fullness of him that fills all in all in jesus name of Christ compels us because we judge thus that if one died for all then Paul died and he died for all that those who live should live for all for themselves but for him who died for them and rose again but God who is rich in mercy because of his great love which he loved us even when we were dead in trespasses made us alive together with Christ, by grace you have been saved, and raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And be found in Him, not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith. And Apostle Paul says, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you to walk worthy of the calling with which you were called, with all loneliness and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing with one another in love, striving to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. There is one body and one Spirit just as you were called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. Being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. And he himself gave some to the apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present age looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from every lawless deed and purify for himself his own special people, zealous for good works. That he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word that he might present her to himself a glorious church not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. I do not pray for these alone, Jesus said, but also for those who believe in me through their word, that they all may be one, as you, Father, are in me 
and I in you, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that you sent me, and the glory which you gave me, I have given them, that they may be one, just as we are one. I in them, and you in me, that they may be made perfect and one, and that the world may know that you have sent me, and have loved them as you have loved me.